Bada Ned, this is Patil Tutunjan coming to you from Toronto, Canada. I came here to be with family um, through this tough time in our lives. Um, if you guys have seen the last video I made that we were stuck in Paris, um, you guys know that my mother wasn't doing well. Uh, unfortunately, she didn't make it. I appreciate all of you guys who have been praying for her um, and have reached out to me and, and kind of created this sense of community that gave me the courage to keep going. Um, so thank you so much for all of you guys. It really means a lot. I love you all so much. Um, as you know, in that video, I've mentioned that uh, I when I was in Syria, Aleppo, Syria, where I was born and raised, the intention was to make a series of videos to show you where I grew up and how the Armenian community is continuing to rebuild and, you know, survive and, and trying to thrive, I guess, um, after the war and the impact of the war, but um, also to share the positive sides of everything. However, I couldn't do that um, when things went south. So there was one video that my mom actually was behind it. She took me there and we filmed it together. And I want to dedicate this video to her. I really thought it's important to bring it to life, even though it's not complete. The intention was to have it as part of a larger video. Um, but because I couldn't do that, I still thought it's important to bring this to life, like I mentioned. I will be going back there soon, early next year, and I will um, do the full series, but for now I think it's important to do this, um, dedicate this video to my mom, and also you will see that um, the, the location of the filming is the 40 Martyrs Armenian um, church in Aleppo in the old quarters and um, they are working on the rehabilitation of the church a part of it is already open um, there's also a uh, work that is being done so all the ad revenues from this video will be dedicated um, in my mother's memory I will be donating it to the church the next time I'm there um, so please um, watch this for video rewatch it send it to people so we can raise as much uh, funds as possible so we can keep this um, church um, going and help them with the rehabilitation process so thank you so much guys in advance um, I really really appreciate like I said all of you um, and I will make sure that the next time I'm there which like I said will be early next year um, I will film it again and I will go there in person to make the don donation in, in my mother's name I know my channel is not huge and that revenue might not be huge but we'll do our best to um, to make a, an impact even if it's little I know my mom would have appreciated it um, and would be happy that this happened um, so be before I start getting emotional um, thank you so much again for everyone and thank you for everybody who reached out separately and made a donation um, to any organization in her name I really appreciate it a lot of you have reached out so uh, please know it, it means the world um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's gonna be emotional for me to watch it. Um, but I hope brings it it brings joy to um, to all of you. Love you guys so much. Enjoy this video.
Paremner, this is Patil Tutunjian coming to you from the 40 Martyrs Armenian Cathedral in Syria, Aleppo. Um, this is actually a 15th century church and is located in the old Christian quarter in Judea in Aleppo. And the significance of this church is that it's one of the oldest um, active churches in the Armenian diaspora. So I'm going to take you around the church a little bit. Um, and then after showing you the church, I will also take you right across where the Armenian consulate is located. So they're right across from each other. Um, so let's go. And this is a Greek Orthodox church right next to it.
as you can see that was the Syrian Catholic Church and there's a, an entire rehabilitation um, project for the old town um, so you see construction everywhere around here you can still notice the impact of the war in the area but there's a lot of um, effort being done into rebuilding I remember walking down these streets um, to go to the church when I was a kid So in this area, I will show you now the doors. Um, they actually at one point made all the doors uniform like this, like the old um, wooden ones. And it was really, really beautiful. I hope that they rebuilt them. So you'll see right behind me, like these ones. And a lot of the vendors here were jewelers. Um, and it was kind of like known as the jewelers market. And you can see here in Armenian letters, Tarkhanian. Obviously, there were a lot of Armenian vendors too in this market. And one of them happens to be a family member. And since it's not a complete video, I know it's a very abrupt ending, so I just came back again real quick to say I do hope you enjoyed it and um, stay tuned for more videos from Armenia and from, for more videos from Aleppo um, and around the world. Really, this community is very strong and um, I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Love you guys so much. Bye! Hi, Ernest. I'm so